Hey guys, back with another video. I'm here today in Aspen in the TBM 930. I've got a very cool application for you if you're looking for a head tracking in the Microsoft Flight Simulator or other games as well. There is an alternative to buying hardware. There's an application you can get for iOS or Android, and it's called Smooth Track. Ten bucks for the app for the app for uh, iOS, and I believe it's in beta right now for the Android. Not sure what the price is for that, but I'm sure it's no more than ten bucks. And basically, all you need is a smartphone, and it works. I think it's iOS 13 or, or greater. But there's a there's a full fledged uh, tutorial on how this whole thing works. I highly suggest that you check that out on YouTube. You could just search it. Just search for Smooth Track. I'm going to put a link in description to this site because they've got he's got full details on how to install it. Okay, uh, very simple. What you need is you need this free application called Open Track. You can get this on GitHub. Instructions in here how to get it. And this basically you can see that octopus as he moves. That's my head tracking. I'm using my iPhone with this app called Smooth Track, and it's sending information over Wi-Fi to this application open track and that octopus is my head moving very cool you've got a bunch of different features here you can do you can change the mapping I change the mapping a little bit to make it a little bit more level when you turn your head so you can you can do that it's very simple to set up for me as a VR flyer I look at this as an interim step for flying in uh, FS 2020 this is going to eliminate having to use the hat switch to, to look left look right I could just basically turn my head and look left and right it's going to be great for landing all right. But what we're going to do here is we're going to do a takeoff just to show you how it works here. So um, we can we can still go outside. As you go outside, when you turn your head, you change your view. But you can still use your mouse, which I'm using here, to change your view that way too. Okay. Back in there, and even inside the cockpit, I'm using my mouse here if I want to use that to change my view. So that's that's still all in place. And what you do is you set up a uh, a center command. You just bind it. A key command to center so once you're sitting center in your pilot seat in your simulator hit that and then you're good to go and you can see I can lean in here and look at the uh, instruments or look at if I want to look at the GPS I can just lean in instead of having to mouse in and I, I have the ability to uh, uh, you know to basically control everything on the console now I'm, you're gonna have to keep your head steady when you're turning knobs because if you move your head obviously the knob's going to go out of sync, so you want to keep your head steady when you're turning your heading knob. So that's something that you have to get used to. Different from VR, you don't have to do that in VR, really, uh, because the, the, the mouse and the controllers are independent of where you're looking. But here, wherever you, when you look, you change the screen. So you've got, that's one thing you've got to think about when you use this. But, you know, if you're looking for a way to get a little bit more faster view, and you don't want to spend 120 100 bucks, whatever it costs to buy a hardware solution. $10 for this. Took me about maybe 10 minutes to get it set up. It worked right off the bat uh, without a problem and uh, works pretty well. So let's uh, let's try to take off here. Show you how we uh, how we do it here. So yeah, now I find myself having to center it quite a bit. I'm just, just not sure if it's drifting or, but it seems like right now it's, that's a little off. There you go. Okay, come on. For ten bucks, I don't think you can beat it. Now I will tell you that my phone got a little. It gets a little warm after using this for a few minutes. Not that it's hot. But it does get a little warm. Now, I've got it in the case, so that could be part of the problem. Uh, you can actually turn off the screen on your phone. They have a little light bulb on the app, so you turn that off, and then you can uh, you can save uh, screen power, but the, and the app still is working. So, like, I could pull right up here, hit the brakes, and then I could look like, nine, you know, look over here to see if there's anybody, anybody flying in. Or I could look this way as well. Same thing. Get, I'm still getting the hang of controlling it because I'm not used to this type of uh, this type of interface. But so let's get up in the air.
Oops. And we're off. So this is nice. Now I could just basically want to look to the left there to see what's going on down there. I can do that. Look back forward. It does take you know? It does take a little getting used to, at least for me. Like I said, it's a different uh, different feel to it. Now I wonder what happens when you get a when you get a phone call in the middle of this. <laughs> If it's going to knock you off the camera, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how don't that sink. would work. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't okay, sink. we're not going to sink. Don't sink. Anyway, so now I feel like I find I have to center myself again. Here, there you go. So you want to have a, that center command bound to your uh, uh, your mouse or something, uh, so that you have it pretty handy. Because I'm finding my I'm finding I'm having to do that now. There may be something I have to configure. Yeah, so that's uh, that's Smooth Track available in the App Store, ten bucks, and uh, I'll put a link in the description to the website where the instructions are, so you could check it out from there. And you know, so far so good. For ten dollars, it's worth a shot. That's the way I looked at it. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. Hit that like button if you like what you saw today, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you get notifications of when I put up new videos, and also when I st I'm streaming. Stream. Three times a week, usually Tuesdays at, and Thursdays, 8 p.m. and Saturdays at 9.30 in the morning, all Eastern time. Hope to see you then, and uh, I'm sure the next time I stream, I'm probably going to be using SmoothTrack if I'm streaming for FS2020. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.